All right. So 26th August 2017. That's when my story is set. So this was when I was in 11th grade in school, and there was this fest called Vivam. And Vivam, if you're from Bangalore, you'd know this, is the biggest fest ever. It's second probably only to Sarang because it's a school thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this thing is big too, man. So it's a it's a cultural come sports event, and every school in the city preps months for this thing. It is like the big all end all of every year, and every school prepares so hard because it is super prestigious to win this thing. Like winning this thing is ultimate validation for you. So most of my friends were preparing for some event or the other. So they were. I had friends in the sports teams. I had friends playing basketball. I had friends in the play. I had friends in the band. But I, on the other hand, I'm academically talented, which means I can get into IIT. But if I want to have friends or get into Vivam, that's a whole other story. But somehow or the other, I scammed my way in. I figured out how which teachers asses to kiss, and I became a volunteer because I had to be there on that day. I had to be there, and the reason is because Vivam was also my birthday. So that's plot twist number one. That this story is not about Vivam. This story is about my birthday because I am, in fact, very narcissistic. So, as you may have guessed, I am someone who loves attention. So, on my birthday, I like having people make a fuss of me. But now, because all my friends were busy preparing for this Vivam shit, all of them did not stay up till twelve the previous night. I was like, fine. The event starts early in the morning. That's perfectly okay. So, I planned the situation in my head. I'm going to go walk into this so-called best fest of the of the city. And everyone would like circle me and be like, "Happy birthday, Prajwal! Congratulations on turning 17. We didn't think you'd do it. Thanks, guys. I was totally ready. I was ready to have the time of my life. I walk in. I enter this place. I'm looking around, waiting to see some friend. I see them in the corner. I wait there, wait for them to come to me. No one does. So I decide to go to them. Okay, I will swallow my ego just this once. I go up to them. I'm like, "Hi, Madhav Chod, hut." We're all practicing. We don't need you here. Your vela is fuck. Go somewhere else. Okay then. And I assume they must be really stressed because the concept that they might have forgotten my birthday is too hard for me to handle. Now, one of the advantages of being a volunteer is that I can go around to many different people, so I can seek validation from someone else. So this time, I decided to try something new. I will try something less offensive as hi. So I decide to open with. Hey, today is a good day. How about I give you guys a treat? So I go. I find this one girl, and I go tell her, Hey, today is a good day. How about I give you a treat? She looks at me. I look at her. I'm hoping that she that the maki batti jalegi iski, and she realizes that the only reason someone would give a treat is it's their birthday. She looks at me. I look at her. We're waiting. We're waiting. And then she asks, Your parents must be really rich, no? <laughs> Who thinks like that? I don't know what to reply, so I say, Yeah. And then I buy her a sandwich, and through continuous cups like this, cups, by the way, is failures for freshies who don't know yet. So continuous cups like this keep happening, and somehow, despite my best efforts, no one is convinced that it's my birthday. Finally, I find someone else. I try this uh, treat thing again. So I go up to them and I'm like, "Hey, today is a good day. Can I give you a treat?" And this girl gets offended. She asks me, "Are you trying to ask me out?" And now the sad thing is, I actually like this girl, but it was my birthday, and I like myself more. So no one who doesn't know it's my birthday has any chance of anything with me. So I say no, thank you, don't flatter yourself, bye, and I go. But now in hindsight, I probably should have said yeah because that was the only chance at validation I was going to get. The whole day goes by. I go back in the bus and I try to act really strong and not tell anyone that you know it's my birthday. Please wish me. So finally, when the bus leaves me. Uh, to the point where no one is around me, my ego gives up and my inner feelings come out. I start crying. I cry like a little bitch. I'm crying on all the way home. I'm like desperate till I go home and then open the door and shout at my mom. And then I open the door and all my friends shout surprise. So yeah, their plan of making me have the best day ever was to first give me the worst day ever, which is a great strategy. Theory of relativity, guys. So yeah, that taught me that if I ever want a good experience in life, I need to first have a bad one. So that's my story thank you so much for listening ek baar aur taali baja dijiye